look what I have got. This is for all my amigurumi equipment. My hooks and stuffing and safety eyes um, and yarn, obviously. But I have to put it all together first. This will be a laugh. I mean, I have always got Tim to fall back on if I can't do it, because he will do it for me. But I'm going to have a go. Watch this space. Everybody and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. As you can see, I'm home. Um, it's about half past three in the afternoon. It's going dark. I haven't done lots and lots of filming again because we've not really been anywhere and done much. Um, I have taken some filming and I'm going to show you um, how far I am with my toft. We had a trip out last night, quite late on last night, to IKEA. Um, we were very safe. And we just went straight to the things that we wanted, got them and came straight out. It wasn't too bad at all. Felt quite safe, actually. Obviously, we had our masks on and such like. And our granddaughter was still with us. She stayed again last night, but she's gone home again now to mum. And, yeah, and that's it, really. We haven't really done much or been anywhere because of the old COVID, you know. We're just trying to stay nice and safe so nothing changes for us nearer to Christmas. So we can basically get over to our daughters and spend some time with her. But fingers crossed, we keep doing our lateral flow tests. Um, Tim and I are still full of a cold. I don't know if you can tell I've got a real bunged up nose and I don't feel terrible. I just, yeah, I'm just bunged up and good excuse to have hot toddies though, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to get on and show you. Um, <coughs> I can't remember really how far I've got showing you with my toft. So I'll show you all again. You've probably seen it all, so I do apologise. Um, and if there's any banging in the background, Tim's in the kitchen, so I do apologise for that too. So this is how far I've got with my bird. Is that fire on the telly blowing it out? Bear with me. Let me move round. Oh, that's it's better, isn't it? It's not blowing out as much now. Um, right, so the bird is almost complete. It is. It has got to have some wings, which we are constructing at the moment. It's got its head feathers. So that's the bird. I presume this is the tail. It's a very, very elegant tail. Um, full of beads. This is what most of the beads, or all of the beads really, have gone in. And there's this really nice decorative chain stitch going all the way around love that and then all these underneath here i think i have shown you this but yeah so all that there so yesterday um our gift in toft was another emerald green so i started this and you have to thread up can you see more beads can you see them and then yesterday I did some beadwork. So I'm taking that this is going to be a wing or one of the wings. So yes, not yesterday, the day before you just did two round circles. You did rounds one to six and they were just round discs. And then yesterday you joined again and did so much of this work, added these beads on and did these two spikes. I've not done today's yet. I'm gonna sit and do it when I finish filming. Um, but I'm, I'm presume there's another three spikes to go here and then that one is finished. And again, they've got all the lovely, can you see all glistening beads? Aren't they lovely, them beads? I've really, really enjoyed working with beads. Even though I'm an avid amigurumi maker, I have learned some new techniques with this. Um, and I'm, I'm really, really, really enjoyed it. Really, I've really have made and um, enjoyed making it. And in today's, let me show you what's in today's. So today is day 20. And we have got another centralizer. I'm loving these stitch markers. And this one is like a diamond shape. How pretty is that? Can you see? Let me put my head down. So that was in today's. And I think we need that for carrying on with today's um, clue. So that was Toft. Then from Suzanne. 
again, day 20, I got this one. This is a nice one. And that one is called, oh, Tiny Tim. So that's Tiny Tim. And then alongside that, we got this stitch marker. I haven't brought down my gift, my handmade gift or my piece of fabric, but I will put a bit of a picture in somewhere. I forgot to bring it down um, before I finish today's filming. I will show you in a little while. I'm also in the middle of cutting out all my bear. Um, and while I'm here, it's just here, so I'll show you. Wait there, bear with me. And I'll let you see how far I've got with my pig. It's in my Emma Ball bag. I treated myself to this last time I went to um, Black Sheep with Karen and Lindsay. And this is how far I've got with Piggy. Isn't it gorgeous? I love his little belly. Um, I've never really done a lot of amigurumi with double strands of yarn or wool. I normally do everything with cotton. And it is really, it's a really, really nice texture. Feels very soft, very fluffy. You can sort of see. Can you see the halo at the top here? Which I thought was rather nice. The technique for putting these, um, finishing the boots off was lovely. I have got two buttons that I'm going to sew on either side. I'm hoping to get that finished today. So tonight I want to try and get his head finished and catch up with my Toft Advent. I've got that much going on. I'm, I'm, it's not all going to get finished for Christmas and, you know, I should really be mainly concentrating on one of the gifts that I've got to make. I'm about three quarters of the way there now and I think the reason I've sort of put it on a, not a back burner, but I think the reason I'm not sort of mithering too much about it is because I know I'm not going to see the person until about the 28th or the 29th, so I think, oh, I've got a bit of time left. But really, I should just finish it and get it over and done with and get it packed up already. I mean, obviously, it will be ready. Well, not obviously, I don't know. I'm not, I, I try my hardest to get it ready, which I think it will be. I, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'll have to get it ready. It's, there's no, yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling. So I'm going to go. Um, I have just constructed my um, trolley. I went to Ikea yesterday, like I say, and I got myself one of the mini three-tier trolleys. I've got the big size in my craft room upstairs and I wanted one for downstairs just for all my amigurumi um, making equipment. So like all my cottons, all my stuffing and um, my crochet hooks, my, my eyes, you know, that kind of thing. And I wanted it leaving down here. Anyway, I bought myself a little trolley and yeah, I'm going to get all that packed up and get it all organised and sorted out. So, and I have managed to put it together myself. Can you believe that? Anyway, I'll, I'll swing you around and show you. Um, and I'll show you some of the other things that I've been doing, cutting out the teddy bear and stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to go and I shall um, either speak to you later on tonight or I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. This is how far I've got with cutting out my teddy bear. Not doing a patchwork, I'm doing it all one colour just to start off with to practice. So I've done its head, I've cut both sides out. So it's got its head, two legs, two pads. This is his body and this goes in his body too. Um, and here, I'm just gonna cut out now. There's one arm, two arms, and then is the four pieces for his ears. Now, whether I'm going to get this done or not, because tomorrow is going to start getting busy, because um, we're going to our daughter's on Thursday, and I've got lots of packing to do, washing to do, to deliver presents to other members of the family. So whether this is going to get done, I'll be honest, I doubt it. But at least it's all cut out ready for when I get back. I'll just show you, I had my last issue of love embroidery um, Tim bought me a subscription last year and this is the last issue so yeah look at that isn't that beautiful this is what I strive to be 
able to do something like that. So yeah, that's something that I'm going to flick through this afternoon with a cup of coffee. Just thought I'd share that with you. So I've managed to put it together with a little help from Tim. There was just two little bits. Not that I couldn't do it, but I couldn't, the thread, I couldn't get the screw in the thread right. Anyway, it's done now. It's a nice size, um, just nice enough for putting bits and pieces in for me crocheting. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really pleased with it. It was a toss up between this, like it's just like a slate grey and a white. And I just thought that the white might just be a bit stark and stick out a bit. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I've managed to do. Quite pleased with my little self. I'm just about to sit down and do my um, clue for today on my toft. Um, Zach, hello, hello fella. Um, and I'm going to turn the fire off. We've got the fire on the TV, crackly. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me take you over and you might be able to hear it. Nice, isn't it? So I'm just going to turn that off and find a Christmas movie and make a nice hot chocolate. I don't know what I'm going to watch. I haven't decided yet. Um, my point set here, let me show you that, is doing so well. Normally, by this time of the Christmas period... I've got half a plant left. I think I've had one leaf fall off. So yeah, it's doing really well, my poinsettia. But I did read that it needs to be near a radiator, which it is. We've got our radiator here. Ooh, excuse all this. This is the dog's toys. Um, near a radiator and it likes to not be overwatered. And I've done that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that one. My Christmas cactus here is looking very, very sad. Sorry, it's a bit dark. As is my octalus, look at this. But it does actually need, I've just watered it, so hopefully it'll get a bit more spark back in it. It does actually need feeding. But I love this plant. Look at the leaves on there. Let me find you a nice, can you see? Let's see if I can. Aren't they lovely? Anyway, I'm waffling now, so I'm going to go. And I can so see it later. Let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow